Online Armor version 4. Now this is an upgrade to the previous version which has improved yet again. Accept the agreement. Click next. Click next again. And allow it to install. You need to enter an email address. So I will just enter an email address. I don't know whose it is but there you go. It's there. And you will get a confirmation in your email just to thank you for registering it. You don't get spam emails from them. They will notify you of new versions and that's about it. And when you've done that, click next and you'll get a little pop-up that registers the program and it will then carry on with the installation. Now this runs on Windows XP, Windows Vista and Windows 7 32-bit machines only. It does not support 64-bit at the moment. So bear that in mind. Now when the installation has completed you have Start Online Armour pre-ticked, click Finish, and you will then go through the wizard. Now the wizard, you have the option to trust everything on your computer or to run the wizard. I will run the wizard and click Next. And it will scan your computer for the latest updates, dangerous processes, the start menu, startup objects, and so on. Click Next, and those that need attention, you can go through the list and simply allow programs that you know to be safe. It's that simple. Those that you're not sure of, you can leave them at Ask, and at a later date, you can allow them. You then need to restart your computer, which will finalize the installation. So click Finish, and when you come back, you'll find that it's currently in learning mode as it scans all of your program files and your operating system and uses the online armor whitelist. Then it opens up the user interface. Now if you click on programs, as you can see some of these are allowed and some are set to ask. And you have the choice of finding out what each of these is. You can run them safer, you can trust the program, you can delete it, you can block it, you can allow it. The choice is yours. Under options, you can see that it's color coded. The program is run safer, uh, the program is trusted, the program is untrusted, which you need to look a bit deeper into that if you get one of those. Program is unknown, which means it's not on, on, on online armor's whitelist. The program is absent, you can right click and delete, and program is an installer. Again, you can right click and delete that when the program is installed. Prompt when running unknown programs and show colored border on programs set to run safer. Hidden processes detection. Be careful using this. Leave it unticked. Use the online armor whitelist. Clear unknown programs on reboot. Again, be careful using this one as well because you might clear something that you actually want. And you start to get pop-ups that you don't need. So leave it unticked. Notify when online armor auto trusts or blocks a program. Leave those ticked. You'll get a few little pop ups, but they're only small. Now, if you look at the programs, right click, you can show the file information, you can open the file location, open the program, open safer, you have advanced options trust, untrust, allow, ask, block, add, delete, find, or copy to clipboard. So you can get all the information you need. Auto runs will show you programs that are set to auto run on your computer. Now if you untick hide trusted, be very careful blocking anything here because a lot of these are part of your operating system. So you may want to leave that box ticked. And again they're color coded and they will show in the list. Internet Explorer add-ons. This will show browser helper objects and Internet Explorer extensions. And again you have the option, you can right click, you can block them, allow them, delete them, you can show the file information. And they're also color coded. Key log is, this box is ticked by default. Untick it, so you know if there are any programs that are acting as key loggers, and ensure under options, enable key loggers detection is ticked. Hosts, this will show you hosts on your computer, if you have a host file and it will list them all and you can hide the local host which is 
in most cases 127.0.0.1 you can add, edit, delete or block. Uh, in most cases you want to leave it alone. You can also track changes made to the host file. The firewall. Program access. This will show you a list of programs that have accessed the internet and the status. Rules will show you the protocol and the direction whether it's in, out and the ports that were used and by which program. You can add a new rule, delete a rule or edit the rule. Interfaces. If you use a router on maybe a home network, tick this, tick that box if you trust it. If you're out roaming with a laptop, you may want to untick that box. Use that carefully. Computers. This will show you all computers connected to your network and you can also hide inactive networks. You can reset the list which just refreshes it. History. Now here you have a lot of options. This will show you basically programs that are allowed, blocked or programs that ask permission. And if you go into options, uh, there's the default is to keep history for seven days and you can clear the history on reboot. So the choice is yours. Options. Under general, internet settings will come to in a moment. You can check for a new version. Manual only or every day. I leave it on every day. If you use a proxy, open up internet settings, fill in the details. Send anonymous information about programs you choose to allow to deny, allow or deny to Tolimu. This will add to their whitelist, which benefits all users. The default language is English and the mode is standard mode. You can enable multi-desktop support. If you use multi-desktop, launch online armor at the next startup and enable debug mode. If you tick this debug mode, you will get the debug icon. Firewall. Automatically allow trusted programs to access the internet and notification when programs are allowed to access the internet. Enable logging and additional debug info. This is set on blocked events. Now depending on your expertise and knowledge, you may want to tick only allowed events or all activity. I will go for all activity. Uh, show firewall activity in the tray. New networks discovery. If you use a router, intercept the loopback interface and also look up external IP. You can exclude folders simply by adding and browsing for them and they will be excluded from online armor's protection. Backup restore and hotkeys do not work in the free version. Debug. This will debug the program if there's any problems with it and just leave those ticked. And under miscellaneous self protection which requires a reboot, that box is ticked, it protects the program. And if you click about, if you have problems at any time or something you're unsure of, click on tallemu.com forums and there's somebody there to help you sort out any problems you may have. If you right click the system tray icon, you can close and shut down online armor, deactivate the host intrusion protection system, block all network traffic, you can put it into learning mode, show the firewall log, the firewall status, the firewall, you can click to turn on or off, which you really don't want to turn it off. Program guard, standard mode is the default. You can set a password, simply enter, confirm and lock the user interface and the program is password protected, which is a good idea. Now the firewall status, if you click on that you'll get this little window which will show you inbound, outbound data and connections, the process ID, how much information is downloaded, uploaded, up and down speed, and the local addresses, and so on. It's quite useful for advanced users. And it's a nice little program, it's good to use. And as I said, I use it on XP, Vista, and Windows 7, I've had no problems. I quite like this program, and it works for me, it doesn't mean it'll work for you. If you want more information, check out my blog, which is Free PC Security. And you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk with more information and download links.